10 years from now, 2034, we're both, we're both Trekkies, right? We both love Trekkies. And I love your description of, uh, of Zipline as a teleportation company. And it's, it's a beautiful uh, vision. 2034, what will Zipline be doing? Give me a, a vision of what you imagine is possible a decade from now. A kid's born, what are the, what's different in the world for them? I think a, a couple of things. I mean, one is that, you know, the promise of truly instant and automated logistics is that it will be 10 times as fast, dramatically less expensive, and it'll be zero emission relative to the way that we deliver things today. So the advantages are that it will be, uh, it will be used far more than we use logistics today. I think we'll probably be receiving three or five instant deliveries a day if you're a family living in a house. Uh, we're also going to transition this very carbon intensive part of the economy to a fully zero emission future. And finally, logistics today really only does a good job of serving the golden billion humans on earth. And one of the advantages of making it dramatically less expensive, more broadly available, is that I actually think there's an opportunity to extend very high quality logistics to every single human on earth, which means people are going to have access. You know, tens of millions of people, hundreds of millions of people are going to get access to healthcare. They're going to get access to economic opportunity in ways that they just don't today. So in the future, I'm going to, you know, I, I guess the world's learned about Domino's deliveries in 30 minutes. And is it uh, a future where my AI is just, when I order something, it's deciding it's going to get delivered by a drone or by some other means? Is this in every city in the world? Is this, how, how ubiquitous could it be? Pretty much at this point, 100% sure that this will be in every city on earth and that it'll be possible to do, you know, basically you'll be able to push a button on your phone or more realistically, probably just talk to your, you know, talk to your home AI yeah. and um, you know, it will be able to order whatever you need in five minutes or less. And I think, and I, I think that A, it's quite provocative to think, wow, you know, when we needed to, when we used to need to send information, we paid someone to like write, we wrote a letter and then we paid someone to deliver it on horseback. Yeah. Now I just send you a text message or an email. So there's this, the magic of what the internet did for how we move information, make, enabling information to move at near zero cost instantly to any person, I think that same thing is going to happen with logistics. I think automated logistics is going to make it possible to deliver packages in a way that is near zero cost and instantaneous. Um, so yeah, I, I think it's going to profoundly change how people live their lives. I think it might even change the way that we think about ownership. How so? Well, I mean, I think you just need to own less stuff. I mean, I have tons and tons of stuff at my house that I only use like once a year, maybe even less than and if it's easy to just teleport something to my house and then teleport it back, you can imagine a pretty fundamentally different kind of sharing economy where we can actually have a lot less junk in our, house, in our houses, but have access to vastly more things, like only when we need them. I love that. And, and my AI can anticipate what I need before I need it and get it here and it's there and then send it back. Exactly.